silence uh, is a space beyond creation and creator, beyond life and death. As you practice silence, you shall become silence. Silence means nishabd, shabd means reverberation. The consequence of a reverberation is shabd or sound. Where there is no reverberation, there is no sound or it's beyond sound. What is beyond reverberation and sound is beyond creation. What you consider as the force which creates, that is also a kind of reverb, a more silent reverb, a reverb without sound, but still a reverb. That which is beyond that is silence. So, when we say silence, we are not talking about school teacher silence of shh. We are not talking about plugging your ears kind of silence. Silence means stillness. If you learn to become still, initially you start practicing it. But as you go into this, you will become still to a point where you can be still and still be active. You can be still and be in a vibrant state of dance. You can be silent and you can be singing. You can be silent, you can be speaking. You can be silent and you can scream. So silence is the source of all there is, or stillness is the source of all there is. The basis of both Knowledge and ignorance is reverb. When you reverberate in a certain way, you become knowledgeable. When you reverberate in a certain other way, you become ignorant. But both are reverb. Why are we trying to be beyond knowledge? Because knowledge is an accumulation and it's a limited possibility. When you become still and silent, you know, you know everything by experience, not by accumulation. Not a person who is a collage of things that he has gathered, but as a complete picture. Not somebody who took a million piece jigsaw, found four of them and said, this is an elephant, but who saw the whole picture because he's seen the whole picture, he also becomes silent because you cannot talk about the whole picture because it is beyond articulation, it is beyond description, it is beyond definition. Unfortunately, when the ignorance of limited knowledge comes to people, it usually comes with enormous arrogance. Ignorance and arrogance together are a horrible companionship and they produce the worst results. So in case you realize that you do not know, <laughs> if you pay enough attention, you will know that you do not know a damn thing in this world. So if you pay at least that much attention to everything around you that you realize so much of creation around you, you do not know, then at least one of it will be cured, that is your arrogance will go. Your ignorance may not be gone, but at least your arrogance will go. Ignorance is a dark patch, but it's also a possibility because knowledge is a small defined boundary. Ignorance is a limitless possibility. Ignorance without arrogance can solve some problems, but to become silent, to become still, to be able to be the host of every reverb that can happen in this universe, this is the most important thing. 
silence. Above all, silence. Above all, stillness. Silence is really the only way. Silence not of shutting up your mouth or your ears. Silence because external reverberation does not influence who you are. What somebody says or does does not influence you. What you do does not influence you. Who you are is a complete picture. Neither your actions nor your words nor other people's actions nor words change the nature of who you are. This is silence. This is becoming silent within yourself.